All right, contact form 7 is kind of a pain in the butt if you don't know exactly what to do with it. Uh, it's actually simple to use, but it doesn't make a lot of sense maybe when you first try it out. Um, first thing to do when you actually go into uh, contact, after, after the plugin's activated, just click on contact. And after you get into here, just hit Add New. Don't even bother with the default form it has in there. Just uh, if it's going to be English, unless you're doing another language, just go ahead and hit Add New up here again. And then click here on the Untitled and give it a name. And then just click Save. Now, some of the things that you're going to want to have in here, like for instance. Uh, we don't need the client that's actually going to our site and filling in the information um, to put a subject in. So down here below where it says mail, just go ahead and put uh, your own subject line in there. And then over here where it says message body, just take that whole line out. Now, right now we have your name required, your email required, um, subject this we're going to take completely out of the form and this message part right here we're just going to call that So we'll make this text area here. So what the form is actually going to do is, first off, it's going to ask, it's going to have a field for your name, which is required. Uh, then we're going to have your email, which is required. And then we're going to have a text area that says best times to reach you, best method to reach you for an, for initial contact, email or phone. Now, we're, we want to add some other uh, fields into this as well. So you can actually just highlight this email field and copy it and then just paste it right back into here and we'll call this if you currently have a website please enter the website address below and this right here we're going to have to replace so we're going to go over here to generate tag hit text field and it's not going to be a required field because they may not have a website and all we're going to do is take this and replace what's already in there with that and we're going to hit save and now the form will say your name your email it will ask them for their address that they have it and the best times to contact them or best times yeah best time to contact the client I'm sorry and uh, what also we want to add is the actual captcha form so the captcha form what I would do first is make the foreground white so you can do that by entering 6f letter F's and uh, the background we want to be black so we can enter six zeros and then click large so that it's easy to read and now your captcha is actually generated so you want to copy this and hit enter a couple times paste that into your form you want it above the submit send button and you'll notice that's right here and then we want the input field. The input field is actually going to be what takes the uh, value, the, the customer or the client's entered value for the CAPTCHA. And the only reason I'm telling you to do these CAPTCHAs is because if you don't, you're going to end up with so much garbage coming through from uh, different bots spamming you know, every form that they find that it's going to get quite annoying. annoying. So uh, above that, 
just put a uh, less than sign p greater than sign for new paragraph and just uh, say enter the value of the image above in the field below and then put a less than sign again a forward slash a p and a greater than sign enter the value of the image above in the field below and so what will happen is our capture image will show up above this and our field to enter the information in will be below here and the next thing you want to do is down here where it says message body uh, we already took the subject line out of there but we're gonna to have to add a few things so go ahead hit enter a couple times and put uh, client name and a colon and then what you're gonna want is this value here your name and what you'll do is you enclose that in brackets and below that we want client email and that's up here where it says your email and then we want client website and all we have to do is grab this it, it won't say anything because we generated this field over here so we're gonna take the text 862 now remember over here when you're doing these making these fields you don't need to put IDs and all that stuff in and you can take this junk out that's down here below this and as long as you have your correct email address where you want the email to be sent to all you need to do over here where it says mail is just make sure that's in there and your default subject and now your form is complete and uh, what you'll do is hit save and we'll have client form 3 here and when we go ahead and edit our post or our page I'm sorry that is for the contact us all we have to do is make sure that that value is in there hit update view the page and here we go up and down in here uh, put a uh, even though I'm gonna get this in uh, I'm gonna get two emails now because that's actually the default email I want everything sent to um, if you currently have a website we'll put market crush and for this I'm just gonna put some garbage in this will be what they fill out and then here we can put four nine XF hit send and I'll say your message is successfully sent I paused the video for one second and got my email and you'll see what's in there now um, actually uh, apparently I'm missing a bracket here so let's go back in let's go to contact and when you go back into contact and you want to edit a form make sure you click the correct one up above and let's take a look here your email yes I'm missing the bracket so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit save again and gonna go ahead and send the uh, same thing going to hit send again and then I'm going to check my email and now we've got the correct thing in here client name the clients email the clients website address and the message body here which would be their best time to contact them etc 
and now your form is all set up so it's a uh, pretty simple uh, easy thing to set up uh, it just takes a few minutes of your time and uh, it actually works uh, it's actually one of the best uh, forms that I've seen for adding to um, WordPress for a contact type form so uh, that's about it for that and uh, like I said before good luck with your business